Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am using the Violet Voss Pro. Actually, it's not the first time I've used it, so I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on this. I believe I either got this on Sephora or Ulta. Hmm. I think it was Ulta. Now that I say that, it could be Sephora, but I'm going to go back to Ulta. Anyways, so I've used Violet Voss before and I liked the the eyeshadows they blended well I didn't have any problems with it I really like the color combination so when I saw this palette and look how pretty it is I love the iridescence I love the, the print it is the ride or die palette absolutely adorable so I kept eyeballing this thing and when you open it up it's ginormous it's got a ginormous mirror and look at all those beautiful colors so the fact that this is a ride or die palette is not surprising considering how many colors that they have what i do love about this is the palette is very thin even though it's big it is thin so in traveling you can really easily slide this into your luggage or kind of some carry-on and basically have a rainbow of colors to use with while you're going on vacation, traveling, holiday, etc. So the one thing that I did like, I used some pinks and I had filmed a pink-ish look using these magentas and it came out absolutely adorable. But then my camera shut off, I was running late, I didn't have a chance to fix and clear the camera card, etc. whatever. So I may try to recreate that look because it came out super cute. Today I just did a really soft look. I didn't go over the top with the darks. I did actually stay away from the black if you can believe that. I know, it shocks me. Um, so I used some Kelly, some Destiny, some Ariel, and some Monica. So again, I just tried to do an everyday kind of lighter look on the eye and then I made a, a big impression with the eyelashes and these are the Ardell magnetic eyelashes and hopefully that video on how to apply the Ardell magnetic uh, eyelashes will go up before this one that way you're not intimidated but I did go with a softer look I went with a little bit of the peach on the cheeks and the lips to just kind of keep an, an everyday soft look which again I dressed it up with the eyelashes for me that's really hard to do because I like the intense eyes I like when they scream with dark colors and blacks and eyeliners that are really dark it's just what I love so anyways I did enjoy using the browns I will try to recreate the pink look because I really liked how that came out but I'm also interested in these grays so you may see that pop up. I also have a fascination with yellows and they have a great row of yellows to mix. So, I mean, again, this, this palette is one that you can really take wherever you wanna go. The other piece to it is it's pretty inexpensive overall considering the pan sizes, how many you get. So I like that. This is almost a one and done palette for most women. So if you don't, um, if you you know you're kind of on a budget but you would like to be able to copy some of the looks that you see on Instagram or Pinterest or here on YouTube this palette here gives you such a wide range of colors that you really are kind of it's a one and done palette the other thing I like about this is it doesn't have a lot of fallout so I was really worried about using this for the first time because the other Violet Boss that I have is from maybe almost two years ago. So I couldn't remember, does it have fallout, does it not? So I prepared my eyes ready for the worst, especially using kind of the reds and the oranges and the magentas. I was expecting a lot of fallout um, and a hot mess and it really surprised me. I didn't have either. So the one thing I do like about this palette also is it blends well. So you'll see that um, as I put on the colors, I did go in a little heavy handed, so it's gift. And I was able to get a blending brush and just kind of go over where I had put it too heavy and kind of skipped along the crease and really smooth that out to a, a, a nice look. And again, it, this is almost a one and done palette. So I'm pretty impressed. This will stay right with my Makeup Geek 
um, here on my countertop so that I can just pick this up in case I'm working with um, a new palette playing with it and it is missing a color this is one that I'm just gonna be able to grab immediately and have whatever color I want so this is gonna be a new staple on my um, creative desk here so that again I always have every, almost every color I need right at my fingertips and the only thing that I wish it did have because you know I like me some dark colors is a darker brown so the browns kind of stop at a kind of a medium tone but you do have a black so I guess you can kind of mix those two and bring up the brown I just wish they would have had a darker brown as far as anything else on my wish list, not really. It's got some great uh, light colors for the mattes or up underneath your eyebrow. It's got some great shimmers in every single one of the colors. It Again, I just can't get over what a great palette this is. So if you haven't picked this up, this is one you're gonna want. Um, if you're cost conscious, this is still one you're gonna want just because the array of colors. So anyways, I'm hoping that that helps you with your purchasing. I really, really did like this Violet Boss, and like I said, it's just gonna stay right here. Kind of with, you guys always see I use my Nicole Guerrero palette from Anastasia. So that just stays right next to my Makeup Geek right here, and it just makes it easy to pick up and know that um, I've got some great colors there. So hope that helps you. If you want to see how I did this eye look, I've got a really quick tutorial. I actually don't talk for most of it. Yeah, I think I talk in the very beginning. Other than that, I'm just kind of quiet and playing. So that is kind of a rarity for my videos. Anyways, if you want to see how I created this eye look using Violet Boss, then stay tuned. We are going to get started using the Violet Boss Pro. So I really like this. Look how nice it's big, but it's sleek. So you could still throw it in your suitcase, not take up a lot of room, even though it's ginormous. And check out all those colors. I love, love, love the colors. So I have used this once already, so it's not exactly a first impressions. But look at that mirror. Ooh, la. Look how pretty that is on the inside. So I've been eyeballing this for a long time, or what felt like a long time for me. But I think it was really a long time, for real. And so we are going to use some of these colors today. I'm not quite sure what I was gonna use, but I did already do like a pink look with it. Came out amazing. My camera died on me. And I didn't realize it and I had to go so I couldn't finish filming. But, so today I don't think we're gonna do a pink. We may, I don't know, I don't know yet, but we're gonna figure this out. So let's get started and start playing. Here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna try the stamp again. And I found out, I went and watched another YouTuber because I thought you could just put the eyeshadow on and stamp it. Now that didn't work. Didn't work at all. So I was watching Sherry and she actually put her concealer on this little doodad here. She put some around the top edge. To stamp her eyes. So we're gonna try that. Let's see if that, because my way of trying it did not work, which I didn't read directions because I hate reading directions. bad wasn't terrible let's try the other side okay I will say it at least gives a good indication of where things need to go so I am gonna since I did go light on the concealer I'm just gonna pick some up on a brush and follow that initial line so that did move my cut crease up dramatically in trying to do that. So that was pretty wonderful. Now we're gonna go back to the Violet Boss. And I think I'm gonna pick up this color here called Kelly. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. soft and subtle. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for watching today um, using the Violet Box. Thank you so much for watching today as I use the Violet Boss Pro and gave you some recommendations or some thoughts on it. It's a really great palette, so if you haven't added this to your arsenal, you may want to look at it. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or referring me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.